Hi, it's Chester Tucker from Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're looking at the name error in Excel. I've got a number of scenarios where you might come across it. Uh, I need to introduce to you a concept of naming yourself if you've not come across it before, um, because this is where the error might might kind of turn up. So let's take our example here. What we need to do here is just convert these sterling amounts to euro. And what we would do is just multiply the sterling amount by the exchange rate. Now, one way of doing that would just be to multiply that by that. And that would give me the euro equivalent. Another way of doing it would be to name the cell. So I'm going to give this cell a name. So I can refer to it with a name rather than by its cell address, E2. To name a cell, what I do is I select it and then I go up to the name box. You can see it says E2 there. I'll type in a name. Now I must press enter after I type the name, otherwise the name won't be stored. So I press enter. And now I go into B3 and I can say equals A3 times rate. Now you can see rate is appearing down here with a little, looks like a little parcel tag or something like that on it. That's, that indicates there is a name in your workbook called rate. So I'll select it, press enter, and it performs the calculation for me. Now, the name error occurs where you basically mistype a name. So if I said equals A3 times rates, we would put an S in at the end by mistake. It doesn't recognize that. That name doesn't appear anywhere in your workbook. So it brings up the name error. Um, if I take the S off, obviously um, recognizes it. You can always see what names are in your workbook, one by clicking on this little list, drop down here, and you can see the name there. You can also manage your names by going to the Formless tab, clicking on Name Manager, and there are your names there. So either the name was never created, or you've misspelled the name. If I delete this, I'll just show you a really common error. Sometimes what people do is they select the cell, click into the name box, they type rate, but they don't press enter, they just click out of it. And if you do that, the name isn't stored. So they then go on, type in the name, and you get the name error. So always make sure you press enter afterwards and that you've spelt your name correctly. little tip for you, once you have named a cell, if you want to make sure you haven't misspelt it, just say equals A3 times, and then if you press the F3, the F3 function key at the top of your keyboard brings up a list of names. You can select rate, click on OK, press enter, and you know that you're uh, going to be OK. One of the advantages, by the way, of naming cells is that it does create an absolute reference. So if I double click here on this fill handle, copies down the formula, um, I haven't got this problem where if I hadn't used an absolute reference or a named range, I would start referring to the cells down here which would give me inaccurate results. OK, so that's one scenario. Another scenario is where you, for example, say equal sum, press enter. And what I wanted to do was say equal sum and then define those cells as being the ones that I wanted to add up. Or you might say equals SU, so you've misspelled it. Select the cells, you get the wrong thing. Or sometimes you might have said equal sum, you got that bit right and you manually type it in. So you might say, for example, I2 and then to I4. You didn't put the colon in and you get the name error. So if you are typing in formulas manually like that, you don't need to, but make sure you put a colon in there. Otherwise you'll get the wrong answer. Uh, you'll get the name error. Another scenario is where you don't refer to text sorry, within formulas, when you refer to text, you must refer to text within double quotation marks. Otherwise, it thinks you're referring to a name. And if it can't find the name, it will bring up the name error. So for example, here in my little discount sheet, I've worked out the total for the quantity times the unit price. But some of these purchases are awarded a discount. And this column here tells me if that is true. So what I need to do is work out the discounted price here. So I'd use an if function. So I'd say equals if. And what I'm saying is if R3 equals yes. Now, 
If I am referring to text within a formula, I need to put it in double quotation marks, as I said before. Otherwise, it'll think you've got a name called yes. And if it can't find it, it's going to bring up the name error. So if yes, value of true would be, well, I'm going to get a discount, aren't I? So I'm going to say uh, S3 times. I'll say it's an 80% discount. 80% discount. And if not, they pay the full price, which would be S3 again. Now, if I press enter, that works fine. But if I hadn't put yes in double quotation marks, it'll go off and look for a name <coughs> called yes, and it can't find it, so it brings up the name error. So there are other situations where the name error occur, but those are the kind of most obvious ones. Okay, hopefully that was useful.